Okay, so this is a very quick video to show you A, how to post to the blog, and B, explain what's going on with the videos. So first things first, to post to the blog, you need to come to the racerelationsproject.org website right there. Here's what it's going to look like from far away. Go to the first blog posting. So in the case this week, it's week one, lesson one, what do you know? And it's here you post your 450 word. There it is, minimum. Whoa, hang on. 100 word minimum response. All right, so you come down here to the bottom of that where it says comments. Click on comments. And here we go, we're a little slow. And now, he, this is where you need to use your intense debate ID and log in. So log in either here or up here, one or the other. It doesn't matter, but here we are, week one. All the, These are all the comments. So 41 different comments are on the blog right now. So let's log in, intense debate. Mine is I unlearn, there it is, and now Hang on, let's put it there, and here's my password, hold tight, I'm going to do that. There it is, let's watch, I'm in, logged in as I unlearned. So then I scroll down to the bottom, hang on, let me just do it this way, and here's where I post a new comment, so I can either A, type right in here, or B, type it in Word or some other program and then cut it out and paste it in here. But recognize that this program doesn't like really long comments, so it might make you break it up. It just depends on the settings on your particular computer. So you might have to break it up into 350 word comments or something. Once I put my comment in there, whatever that is, click Submit Comment, Update, i.e. right up here, refresh the page and you should see your comment. And that's all it is. It's very simple. So now let me say a couple things about... Whoa, there I am. A couple things about watching the video. I sent an email out saying that you can watch the videos using iTunes, um, iTunes U, or iTunes.psu.edu. And um, it's great. You have to have iTunes on your computer in order to do this. Then just follow the directions. That's the easiest way to watch them, upload them to your computer, watch them anytime you want. Or you just use the system that we have in place and use our stream server. The problem is a lot of you are trying to use a wireless connection. And I can see it on my wireless connection. I can stream the, the videos because I have a fast wireless connection. But not all wireless connections are the same. Some are faster than others. So if you have a slow wireless connection, you're going to have problems. And you're going to have to plug in your ethernet cable and connect directly to the backbone as they say and so you get a fast connection or B um, watch it using iTunes very simple one or the other so that's how you deal with the videos I put something up on the on the um, announcements page about this so you can just follow everything on the announcements page that's all you need okay good luck